Kaza. Good morning. And Chilimba? English, right? Of course. How much international media is there? Wait, wait, yes. wait, wait. Yes, hi. Uh, good to see you. I For saw us, you in Luxembourg last time. It's so, Moldova's first time that participating I such kind so, of, yes. yeah. So, uh, it's good to see you. Is it possible to a degree I can... Uh, so, I'm a Moldovan foreign minister. Moldova is here in Bucharest for the NATO ministerial to... Uh, make Moldova stronger, make Moldova more present on the international arena. We live in a difficult region affected by Russia's brutal aggression against Ukraine. Uh, this war poses major problems for our country. Uh, we have been affected, of course, economically. We are affected in security and military terms. We are a country that is threatened by this war. Uh, we've had a big wave of refugees. Uh, we have major issues with the energy supplies. We've had uh, Russian rockets uh, targeting Ukraine, but flying through our airspace. We've had uh, a, a Russian rocket falling on our territory. Uh, we've had two massive blackouts because of Russian bombing of the Ukrainian infrastructure. So this war is a major problem for everyone in the world, in Europe, but for Moldova, it's really a huge problem affecting our lives uh, across the board. And in this context, Moldova uh, needs, to, needs friends, needs to cultivate its partnerships, relationships, and needs ways to strengthen our resilience. And we do this in cooperation with our partners, those, par those partners, countries, and organizations that support Moldovan freedom, Moldovan liberty, Moldovan territorial integrity, uh, Moldovan democracy. And that, of course, includes Romania, that includes NATO, that includes the European Union. So this is how, uh, what the objectives of, of today are. Minister. Uh, so by its constitution, Moldova is a neutral country. Uh, it is not uh, seeking to join NATO as a country uh, because of our uh, constitutional uh, provisions. At the same time, for Moldova, uh, neutrality does not mean self-isolation, does not mean uh, demilitarization, and does not mean indifference to what happens in the world, including our condemnation of Russia's aggression against Ukraine. So through this prism, we are interested in strengthening our country's resilience, including with NATO. So we are talking uh, uh, about different ways to strengthen Mold Moldova's resilience across the board. Minister. Uh after Ukraine? Well, we as a government have a duty to be ready to the full spectrum of threats. Uh, in our assessment, this is not an immediate threat. At the same time, it's our obligation and duty to be preparing to the best case scenarios and the worst case scenarios. And that includes, of course, action uh, in our uh, domestic politics, that includes action on the military front, security front, diplomatic front, energy front. Uh, so this is what we are doing. At the same time, today, the situation in Moldova is calm. Of course, we have the separatist region of Transnistria and the illegal Russian military presence there. But we are talking to the de facto authorities of Transnistria. Uh, we are insisting and we are together with everyone who lives within the internationally recognized borders of Moldova in our desire to keep peace on our territory, to reintegrate our country and to achieve the withdrawal of Russian troops from Moldova through peaceful means, through dialogue and diplomacy. So in this sense, as I said, we have to be prepared for the full spectrum of threats, but the situation is calm. In our assessment, Moldova is not threatened in the next weeks and months um, by military uh, scenarios, and we are working very hard uh, to make sure that Moldova uh, maintains peace on our territory. Minister, uh, question from Georgia. So you, will, uh, you with your Georgian colleague will meet NATO <coughs> members. Also, our minister were in uh, Moldova in Chisinau. So, so how do you see uh, cooperation with Georgia on our European path? So, yes, last week, uh, um, the Georgian Foreign Minister Ilya was uh, in good, uh, in, in, uh, in Chisinau. We discussed the full spectrum of our relations, both our bilateral relations, how we are moving towards the European Union, uh, our cooperation with NATO, our assessment of the war uh, in, uh, in Ukraine and the impact of this war on our countries. As you know, Georgia is also very affected across the board. 
So this is the type of things that we have discussing. We've exchanged also views on uh, how we plan to come closer and eventually join the European Union. Uh, we heard some interesting um, ways and know-how uh, of the way this is happening in Georgia when it comes to the institutional uh, work and progress. And then we also spoke about how Moldova is rolling out its EU accession process. Minister, my name is Sergei Pelesa. I'm from Belsat TV. It's Belarusian Independent TV channel. Do you have discussions in Moldova to resign uh, from neutrality because of the Russian aggression against Ukraine, because of uh, uh, Russian uh, army presence in Transnistria, the same as Finland and Sweden do, and maybe to think about joining NATO in, f in future? So, as I said, Moldova has been having this constitutional uh, provision enshrining our neutrality since 1994. There is a discussion among observers, among civil society. Uh, parliamentarians have also spoke about, you know, that we need to have a national conversation about the best ways to ensure uh, the security of our country, peace. So for now, this, this conversation is not institutionalized. It has not tur been turned into a, a political process. Uh, but yes, of course, our society is very affected by this war, is very scared by what can happen to an independent democratic country like Ukraine. Um, and that, of course, is, is, uh, is alimenting and feeding this conversation that we do have in Moldova. But as I said, on the uh, political front, in the parliamentary majority, in the gov government, this conversation is not... Uh, being institutionalized or is not uh, uh, launched as, as an initiative to revise the Constitution. Thank you. Bye-bye.